earlier today, we told you guys that Tears of the Kingdom has leaked. And look, I mean, it's it, it's everywhere if you really, really want to find it. If you know the known places, it's all over the place, man. It's <laughs> look, I'm not going to say it's hard to avoid spoilers because I've been able to avoid them, even though my entire, well, not my entire, but a huge chunk of my Discord server in the spoiler area is talking about it. Somehow, I still barely know anything about this game. So, if I barely know anything, then it really isn't that hard to avoid the spoilers. That being said, what I will note is <laughs> Nintendo's not happy. No surprise! Hey, the game leaked, you know, the Monday on the week before the game came out. Yeah, Nintendo's not happy. They're very upset about it. They probably knew it was going to happen, and even then, they're upset, and they're going nuke happy. And they have gone after one particular person who is at least partially responsible for the leaks. And this is quite interesting to dig into. But before we dig into it, I want to remind you that we are giving away a Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Nintendo Switch OLED Edition. We're also giving away a Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition and a pin from PAX East. Go ahead and enter it on in the pin comment or in the description. There'll be three different winners, I should say. Also, we're on a road to 133,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate if you hit that like. Subscribe to the channel and go down below and let me know. Uh, let's see. Let me know what you your favorite ability is in Tears of the Kingdom so far. Talking about this is uh, kind of interesting because obviously in paying attention today, Nintendo's doing the usual thing, and I wouldn't report if it was just the usual thing. They've been nuking streams, they've been nuking Discord servers, uh, they've been going after people streaming on Twitch and YouTube and Kick and you know a whole bunch of different streaming platforms Nintendo's been going after, and obviously. They've been going after Discord servers because there's been a lot of Discord servers responsible for distributing the game, and Nintendo's not happy about that as well. So Nintendo's doing their best to nuke everything they can. Of course, the game is out there. It's not that hard to get your hands on if you want it. Spoilers are everywhere, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Nintendo couldn't stop the floodgates even if they wanted to. Once things get on the internet, they take on a life of their own. But what Nintendo can do is at least discourage the same people from leaking in the future. And while certainly Nintendo's trying to figure out who is the exact person that got the retail copy that ripped the game and put it online, yes, they are trying to chase that person down. We found out through our good friend Nintendo Talk, who is going to be coming on our podcast this week, so I can't wait to maybe expand on this a little further with him. We found out from him that one particular leaker Nintendo has already gone after in at least a minor capacity, We'll see how big of a capacity it becomes. And that is the guy that was selling the copies on Mercari. So this guy on Mercari sold like five copies of Tears of the Kingdom, one for 100, four more for 300 each. And what's interesting is that Nintendo actually got a hold of one of the purchasers of one of the games, one of the guys who spent $300 on a game, and he got a canceled email. And the email just is your typical, hey, your order's not gonna be fulfilled, Here's a refund on the behalf of Makari, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you get your money back, right? Show the email on screen there. You guys saw it. It's all good. But here's the thing. Within the email and obviously going through the exchanges, it turns out that this was canceled by Mercari themselves, not by the seller. So it wasn't like the seller was selling fool's gold. No, 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 no. In fact, the seller had already shipped the item. That's going to come into play in a moment. So Mercari canceled this order due to a third party interaction. So this means it wasn't due to the seller, it wasn't due to the buyer, and it wasn't due to Mercari themselves. A third party requested that they cancel the order. So who could that third party be? Who could actually care if these games are sold? Nintendo, of course. That's a, a jump into an assumption It's Nintendo. I don't know who the hell else it could be, but yeah, Nintendo probably went ahead and got it shut down. And right now, Three of the orders have been entirely canceled by Mercari. I'm sure the other two are on their way to being canceled as well. But here's the crazy thing. Because the guy actually shipped the item, so the order status said, there's a chance that this guy not only got his $300 plus refund, he's also potentially going to get the game as well because it might have already been sent out. Now, this seller might be in a whole bunch of trouble at this point anyways and not really worrying about that game because obviously there could be some legal problems. You know, getting the Mercari uh, store shut down in general might suck for them because they're a five-star seller who has sold a lot of things on the website. So Mercari could potentially shut his account down 
That would already probably hurt them financially, but who knows if Nintendo wants to go after him even harder, or maybe Nintendo just wanted to use this to scare him, get a hold of the seller, and then find out how he got his hands on these copies. Like, hey, what retail outlet gave you those copies? We need to know so we can deal with that retail outlet. Nintendo usually likes to go after the source rather than the innocent bystander. Like, if you're just a customer who walked into a store, the games were on the shelf, and you said, hey, can I buy a handful of these? And they say, sure, and sell them to you. You're not really at fault. The store is. And so in this case, maybe Nintendo just wants the store, or maybe this person stole the copies. We don't really know how they got their hands on them, but we do know that Nintendo seems to be involved in getting them canceled. So you add this to the list of Nintendo nuking a whole bunch of other things, and you're starting to realize, you know, how Nintendo is going to handle this situation. I'm sure, you know, I don't know if they'll ever find the original person who leaked the game. Uh, there's multiple versions of the game apparently out there now, I'm being told. Uh, so it's not just one leak anymore, it's multiple. And I, I don't really know what to think about any of this other than to say that, one, it kind of sucks the game leaked. For those of you out there that are, that, that, are, that are emulating it and doing your thing, I'm sure you're all happy and all that. But for the rest of us, we're just... I mean, could this have been next week instead? Like, if this had leaked Wednesday of next week, would any of us be that upset? I think we could just, you know... Well, whatever, turn off the internet for a couple days and come back on Friday to the Nintendo Prime live stream we're going to be doing at 8 a.m. Central. But look, I, I don't really know what else I can say about this, guys, other than it's unfortunate that it happened. Nintendo's going to continue to go after people. If they happen to file any suits or go after any of the other leakers, I'll let you know. Right now, I do know they have nuked several Discord servers or gotten Discord to nuke those servers, I guess I should say. Uh, they have gone after several different individuals who are live streaming it, although, you know, the extent at which they've gone after besides shutting down the streams, we don't know. And now we know they're going after this Mercari seller, forcing them to refund all his copies and likely doing an investigation there as well. So, look, Nintendo is going to do the best that they can do to try to contain this as much as possible, and it's pretty much impossible to do it. Nintendo, uh, you know, if we learned anything out of the situation... It's that if Nintendo wants to avoid this in the future, they might do some things that we don't like. Maybe it's DRM. Again, we don't like it, but things like this happening is what encourages them to maybe look more at DRM. This also could lead to them just not releasing physical copies of games. For everyone out there that's in massive support of physical copies of games, leaks happening because of physical copies actually hurts the argument to keep physical copies around. So I just want to point out that this actually sort of hurts that as well, and on top of all of that, you have to consider that maybe Nintendo might in the future release the digital version first, like they did with Metroid Prime Remaster, right? We got the $40 version first, right on the eShop, and then wait two weeks and release the physical. What did Nintendo do the same thing? Hey, we're going to give you the digital now, and then after the digital copy comes out, then we'll ship the physicals, because then they also wouldn't have to worry about leaks if they did it that way too, so... Again, it's not what we want, but it is a solution to an ongoing issue that's going to continue. I, I don't even know when. I mean, the next platform is going to get hacked eventually too, right? We just have to hope it doesn't happen in the first six months. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.